Okay, a couple more oblique asymptotes, if we are skillful enough. 6x cubed minus 5x is our dividend. Divisor is x squared plus 1. So if we divide this out, <laughs> do you see what I almost did? When you write these dividends out, you're supposed to have a column for every power of x. And so I've got x to the 3, I should have a space for x to the 2, and then the x's, and then the constants. So let's make that right. Six x cubed plus zero x squared minus five x plus zero. That's better. Okay, now we got a place for everything. Let's try this again. X squared goes into six x cubed three six x times. Six x times x squared. There we go. Six x times one is positive six x. Now we subtract. The x cubeds cancel, nothing happens in the x squared column, and we get negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11x, plus bring down the 0, I guess, and the 6x cubeds canceled out. Now, we want to go around again, but look at this, already we're done, because x squared cannot go into negative 11x. So, this means our function is equivalent to 6x, this part, and then what do we have left down here? Minus 11x, and that 11x is over x squared plus 1. As x becomes infinitely big, this section will vanish, and so our oblique asymptote will have the equation 6x. In other words, this function behaves like 6x, except for this little difference, which becomes smaller and smaller as we go over to the left or right, until finally it's so small that you can't even see it anymore, and you say, you know what, I can't tell this function apart from 6x anymore. Let's see if that happens again for this next one. I'll switch colors. Our function is minus 4x cubed plus 2 x squared plus x minus 4 da, 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 divided by x squared minus 2x. Okay, x to the 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. We won't get fooled again. x squared goes into this minus 4x times. Minus 4x times x squared is that. Minus 4x times minus 2x is plus 8x squared. Subtract and these cancel out. That happens every time, or it should. 2 take away 8 is minus 6x squared. Bring down the... Oops, sorry, I meant to say x. I don't know where 8 got into my head. Okay, and it looks like we can go around again. x squared will go into minus 6x squared. It'll go minus 6 times, and that gives us minus 6x squared. Minus 6 times minus 2x is plus 12x. When we subtract, those knock each other out. x minus 12x is minus 11x, and then we have minus 4. And that's the end of the line, because x squared cannot go into a term that's only degree 1. So, for this one, our function is equivalent to minus 4x minus 6, and then plus our remainder is negative 11x minus 4 over x squared minus 2x. This part will vanish because it's divided by a power of x, and so our oblique asymptote will have the equation minus 4x minus 6. Very small side point. In this one, I had a negative 11x in my remainder. I put the negative out front and then the 11 in the numerator. With this one, I also had a leading negative, but I decided to write plus and then put the negatives inside the fraction. It really doesn't matter very much. It's just a style thing. You can use whichever you like. I slightly prefer putting the plus and then having the negative inside the fraction usually, but 
I'm not going to say it's a rule. I'm not, I don't even really want to recommend that you do it because it's, it's kind of situational and it's kind of personal taste. So just, if you've ever written one of these and then you see the other style, don't even worry about it. They're both totally valid and I don't think there's any traps you'll run into if you prefer one over the other. <laughs> 